So today we're going to be comparing a rich man car to an average guy's car. Now both these cars were made in 2003 so it's going to be an even comparison. Looking at the average man car, you can see the front of the Acura was actually updated from the previous models. They updated the headlights, got a new grill. You know, overall it's looking pretty nice. Not too bad for 03, you know. The bumper got a few chips here and there, fog lights busted, but we ain't gotta worry about all that because we're driving an average man car. Now looking over here, going to the luxury, we got a big ass Mercedes grill over here, Mercedes logo over here. I wish it would stick out like them old school ones, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. Looking at the headlights, I like how they're connected instead of the old school. It'd be separate, look like damn glasses, looking like a nerd. I don't like that. And here, looking here, these are actually parking sensors. So let's say you get too close to a fat ass guy walking by, your car's gonna be beep beep beeping like crazy. And looking at the fog lights, also, not too bad. I like the Acura's better because they're square, and square is always better because if you like circles, you're a round person. So looking here at the average man's car tire and rim, you know, nothing special going on. The, you know, the rim's not too shabby. I've seen worse on cars, and these are 17 in the back, and you know, you don't need big rims on a car like this. Now going over here, we got big old 22s on this baby. And obviously the rich man can afford rich man rims. So he's gonna be rocking that. And you can actually see the brakes have holes. So cooling down them brakes when you're going fast. Cause you know, rich people like to go fast. And when you're rich, obviously birds don't shit on your car like here. <clears throat> so looking at the Mercedes with this big ass engine, the rich man gets more power for his buck you're looking at around 500 horsepower with this one and it is a v8 eight cylinder and this baby is packing a punch i mean look how ginormous this engine is and actually the engine creator right here signs the car himself no average man's going to get a signature of the man who created the engine itself okay being the average man you're not going to know how much horsepower your car has or how much weight because you don't need to know all that it's all right here in this manual hidden in the engine compartment. Let's go ahead and look at it. 225 horsepower, VTEC V6. Now the rich man doesn't get VTEC because he's not, you know, he's not with us. He's not with the, the middle class being able to get VTEC power. And look at these beautiful photos. I mean, my God, look at that engine. Look at that, oh man. This book just, it's like a coloring book for the average man. Beautiful. man doesn't need no fancy seat coolers you know all that fancy dancy stuff and the average person's you know he's gonna know the basics of his car you know we got cruise control right here we got traction off we even got a sunroof and here you can change the lights on the dash very nice there's a trunk emergency brakes how to take it off that's it it's off simple as that pop the trunk right there you got your little window shits and you can actually lock your windows now Clever thing if you're a sneaky son of a gun. You know what I like to do? Get a whole group of friends in the car and then crack a rat so it smells like shit. Lock the windows and you're in for a rude awakening. So looking here at the steering wheel, not too shabby. You know, you actually get your controls here, cruise control, volume, so you're gonna be jamming with the hose. And let's see, we got heater, we got a good old standard clock, radio, and look at this, it's very nice stick. You got the S, cause this is obviously a Type S. You know, the average man is not that poor where he can't for, afford a Type S Acura TL. All right, looking here, 
We got a little compartment. You can have your cups and coffee. We got more compartment here and more compartment here. This car is nothing but storage. You know, who needs this? Now, something you're getting with this car is actually back seats. I mean, come on, what person doesn't want back seats like to bug the driver, whoop his ass, you know, whoop his ass? The average person will. Now, look at here being the rich man. You have these little seat adjusters, which is pretty cool. You can adjust every little thing. You can adjust your little head, your booty, your back. And you got seat heaters, seat coolers, and trunk right there. And one, two, three, A, B, C. I don't know what that does. Anyway, you got these little vents. Very nice steering wheel, surprisingly. It's kind of big, but it's not too big. And this is obviously stock, because you're a rich son of a... Go Warning. Uh, I'm rich, so I don't care. Agree. Now, some of the models have a push start right here. This is a key. We're obviously not that rich. These little knobs, I mean, what are they for? What are they for? Do you know? No idea. Nobody knows. Even the Mercedes people don't know themselves. And right here, you got your glove space. Oh, I can't open this because I'm a rich son of a gun. All right, you got your little joystick here so you can play some video games on here. Anyway, manual mode, fans, heat, your basic shit. And glove box obviously look at that opens all opens all fancy pretty nice seats too you got amg written there so that's that's you know you know you're cool when you got that written there all right so being the rich person with this car here's one feature you're not going to get with that car Oh, hey there, come on in. This trunk has more than enough space. And when I go on my lunch breaks, I just like to snuggle up, go to sleep, forget about all my worries. Now, sometimes when I get locked in here, all I could do to get out is pull this little sucker right here, pull it, and I'm out of here. Now you need to put this down for the roof to go down so it don't scratchy scratch nothing. Put that back up. Now, usually you know me, I love crawling in trunks, but this one time I don't want to because these wires are gonna, sh gonna shock my ass. See, if I was laying there and that got between my butt crack, I'm in for a rude awakening. Okay, so looking here, we don't have much space at all. Um, is there supposed to be a cover here? Um, I don't understand, what is this? Let's see. idea what this shit's for look at see you, you're rich you know you get you get stuff you don't even want you don't even need look at this you get a whole toolkit not with that car look at this you get a bottle of wine so when you're fancy drinking just pour a little bit of you know because you're rich so that pretty much ends the conclusion of this video the 2003 TL Type S the 2003 Mercedes AMG both very nice cars you're getting better gas mileage with this one you're getting more power with this one this car I tried doing donuts with it this is my personal car in case you don't know I know I say I have a Honda Civic but this is my Honda Civic in my heart I couldn't do donuts on this car whatsoever it was snowing I'll show that video in a little bit but it was snowing I was trying donuts thing would not budge man this car is stubborn but I love it also this being the luxury car easy donuts easy burnout you know you have a lot of power for this um let me know which one you guys like um you know obviously people could be like well obviously this one you don't know some people have different tastes but that's pretty much it for this video guys thank you so much for watching subscribe like see you next time